It's tyranny. Getting our country back in the hands of patriotic citizens starts by preventing the removal of liberty's teeth. A word to the people. I'm sorry. Um, these words were not penned to instill falsehoods or lies, but instead to reveal the truth, facts. Most important of all, the pen to reaffirm to the people of this great country that they are great people with an even greater responsibility. Much as our founding fathers were great men with great responsibilities. I wrote this one quote years ago, waiting for the right moment. Never allow the radical views of the few to infringe on the constitutional rights of the many. We will never surrender our rights, our freedoms, our liberties, or our weapons. For it is not within the government's right to know what we own, nor do we think it prudent to tell them such, so that it may be taken from us by a tyrannical government who evoked armed protection under the guise of security, yet decree us having the same. This country was constructed by some of the most brilliant minds in recent history as a free and democratic republic. It shall remain the same. We are not socialists. We are not communists. We sure as hell are not fascists. Our government has lost sight of the fact and has seen fit to once again overstep the boundaries and into a, into a domain not theirs, but a domain instead of God. For it is God that gave the right to every free man, woman, and child to be able to defend themselves against all enemies, both foreign and domestic. We're the patriots. We're the citizens of the United States of America. And as such, we cannot and will not have a government who proclaims the evil of an inanimate object, yet carries several. Tell us we, might have, we may not have such. Evil is not embodied in an inanimate object, but is instead embodied in a government that is seen fit to instill fear and enslave his populace by various insidious and unconstitutional means, including limiting freedom of speech, including limiting freedom of speech, freedom of the people, to peaceably assemble, taxation without representation, and the forcible control of everything from our schools, our foods, our transport, I'll shorten it, and everything else. It controls our media, our monetary system, and everything else with an iron fist. It allows our citizens to be told what to do by people in our country who are here illegally and burn our flag on our own soil. They get away with murdering and poisoning our citizens, as well as numerous foreign entities. And yes, that includes you, the UN, if you're out here. Listen up. And governments to circumvent and bypass our Constitution and Bill of Rights. Both are strictly forbidden by our Constitution. And the people. Everybody here recognizes the importance and what is at stake here. We're not playing games anymore. Our country, our very country, and everything is at stake and it starts here. It is seen fit to instill and enforce its false ideology by continuing to enslave innocent children from birth with a false notion that they are incapable of freedom of thought, freedom of speech, freedom of worship, and freedom of self-defense by continencing that by, by removing their liberties they can assure their security and the most dangerous of all the absolute denial of manifest destiny and the freedom and sense of pride and self-worth that comes with it. We speak of evil, but 
but not the evil, destructive, and sickening notion that we need social welfare, not social well-being. Evil is a man who sees fit to terminate innocent lives with inanimate objects. Pay attention to this part, please. Evil is a man who sees fit to terminate innocent lives with an inanimate object, such as a gun. But pure evil is a government who seeks to infringe and eventually remove the rights of a nation to defend itself against such a man or men, or more so, a government armed with an inanimate object such as a pen, a device that has enslaved more nations, killed more people than any gun or any weapon in the history of humankind. But it's also resp responsible for laying on paper the rights, liberties, including our Second Amendment. A message to every liberal, every member of the UN, every member of any country, anywhere, who dare step on our rights. Don't think for one second we will not go down without one hell of a fight. God bless the USA. God bless